Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Read from Shema Bhagavad Gita, 16 chapter, text 9. Etam Tristim Avastapya Nastatmano Alpa Udhaya Prabhavanti Ukrakarmana Shayaya Jagato Ahita etam tristim avastapya etam tristim avastapya nashtatman nashtatman olpa budhaya nashtatman olpa budhaya Prabhavanti Ukra Karmana Prabhavanti Ukra Karmana Shayaya Chakato Hita Shayaya Chakato Hita Etam Dristim Avastapya Astatman Olpa Budhaya Prabhavanti Ukra Karbana Shayaya Chagato Hitaha Prabhudhaya Prabhavanti Ukra Karmana Shayaya Chakato Hita Etam Tristeb Mavastabhya Nastatmanot Apadudaya Prabhavanti Ukra Karmana Shayaya Chakato Hita Etam Tristim Avastabhya Nashtatmano Udaya Prabhavanti Ukra Karmana Etam Tristim Avastabhya Nashtatmano Pabhudhaya Prabhavanti Akura Karmana Shayaya Chakato Hita Etam This Trishtim Vision Avastabhya Accepting Nashta Having lost Atmanaha themselves, Alpa Buddhaya, the less intelligent, Prabhavanti, flourish, Ukra Karmana, engaged in painful activities, Shayaya, the destruction, Jagata, of the world, Ahita, unbeneficial, Translation Purport of His Divine Grace, Sila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Following such conclusions, the demoniac who are lost for themselves and who have no intelligence engage in unbeneficial, horrible uh, work meant to destroy the world. Purport. The demoniac are engaged in activities that will lead the world to destruction. 
The Lord states here that they are less intelligent. The materialists who have no concept of God think that they are advancing, but according to Bhagavad Gita, they are unintelligent and devoid of all sense. They try to enjoy this material world to, to the utmost limit and therefore always engage in inventing something for sense gratification. Such materialistic inventions are considered to be advancement of human civilization, but the result is that people grow more and more violent and more and more cruel, cruel to animals and cruel to other human beings. They have no idea how to behave towards one another. Animal killing is very prominent among, amongst demoniac people. Such people are considered the enemies of the world because ultimately they will invent or create something which will bring destruction to all. Indirectly, this verse anticipates the invention of nuclear weapons of which the whole world is today very proud of. At any moment, a uh, war may take place and these atomic weapons may create havoc. Such things are created solely for the destruction of the world and this is indicated here. Due to godlessness, such weapons are invented in human society. They are not meant for the peace and prosperity of the world. Etam drishti mavasta bhya nashta atmano pa alpa budhaya prabhavant yugra karmana kshayaya chakato hita. Following such conclusions, the demoniac who are lost to themselves and who have no intelligence engage in unbeneficial, horrible works meant to destroy the world. Oma kya timaranya siyanka nanchana salakyam Jakshurun militam yena tasma ashi gurave namaha. So, this verse is related with the uh, previous two verses from the previous classes, begin, beginning with seven and eight. Because in six it is described there are two mentalities in this uh, world, Krishna says. Dvabhuta Sarga Lokes means Sura Sura Evacha, huh? the Suras and the Asuras. So these two uh, mentalities, they are existing since time immemorial, since the beginning of the creation practically. The Suras and the Asuras, it's existing. It's not something that uh, appeared later on. <coughs> and the uh, 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 Suras, they are uh, Vishnu Bhaktas. They are uh, devoted to Lord Vishnu or Krishna, They're accepting the Dharma given by the Lord, Dharma to Saksha Bhagavad Pranitam. Uh, the Lord, Dharma is not man made, it's coming from Bhagavan, from uh, Supreme Personality of Godhead. Uh, Therefore, the Vedic knowledge or Dharma is meant to uh, please him and to understand him, as we already heard. And the Asura, they're, they're vipariya, they're always uh, doing opposite. They're not following the Dharma given by the Lord. They may, they're concocting their own Dharma, their own rules and regulations, their own concept of life. Now uh, Shastra Vidim Utsricha, they're rejecting Shastra. They have no faith in Shastra, in the revealed scriptures. Th so they're uh, inventing their own scriptures, own, uh, they have their own uh, philosophers, own uh, thinkers who, who uh, consider themselves uh, better uh, than what uh, the Vedic scriptures or the revealed scriptures, the Shastra is revealing. Uh, they say this is from old time, this is legend, this is for primitive people, but we are intelligent people. And the intelligent people, we should not uh, follow this, uh, this uh, it's very strange philosophy and, and beliefs you know, of the old world. They also make consideration of old world and new world. Uh, the old world, uh, 
retarded, they're primitive. Uh, so, but we are the advanced, we are the new world, and the new world, they, they, they know everything better. Uh, but they have no Shastric knowledge, they don't believe in that, they have no faith in that. And therefore, in text 7, uh, uh, Krishna says, Pravritim cha nivritim cha jana navidur asura na saucham na pisacharo na satyam te shavidyate. Uh, those who are demoniac do not know what is uh, to be done and what is not to be done uh, according to Shastra, according to scriptures. Uh, they have no sadhana, they have no knowledge uh, what is beneficial for them, what is uh, not so good for them, what gives them a lot of karma and reaction. They also have no, no proper cleanliness, internally, anyway not, externally, they are also very whimsical. And instead of taking a bath every day, they use a lot of uh, makeups and parfums. Uh, but they, but they spray on their body so that they, that they, they consider it smells very beautiful, but because it is con it is uh, mixed with all the dirt of your body, you know, it uh, smells even more terrible than the, the, the ordinary dirt or bad smell of the body. So, uh, so therefore, uh, the cleanliness is also not there. Uh, Many, uh, it's even out of fashion to clean the clothes with uh, water uh, because we have now chemicals uh, who can purify much better and faster. Dry, dry cleaning. Uh. <laughs> but, but Prabhupada said dry cleaning is, all, is still muchy, it's dirty, it's not clean. Uh, we have to, only uh, water can purify the body, the dress. Uh, so not nothing else. Uh, so, 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 and uh, but people are too lazy to take a bath or a shower at least once, and it's even recommended twice or three times a day, even for the civilized man, to take a bath in the morning, at noon, and in the evening. And whenever you go on the toilet, one should actually take a bath or a shower and purify yourself. But who is doing that nowadays? They cannot afford. They have no time. I uh, have no time because we're busily, busy working now. You can see many people even go on toilet, they don't do wash their hands. Uh, even still going on, although they have information, it's very muchy, it's very dirty, it's even infective. Can get so many infections by it, uh, but they neglect. Uh, they touch so many dirty things and then t take it in the mouth. Uh, they are not aware about it. So very, very dirty behavior, uh, because no training, uh, no, no trainer, and no, no the mentality for it. Because for the uh, to have a pure life, to lead a pure life, and have to be in the in the mode of goodness, sattva guna. But as we know, tadara chas tamo bhava kama loba dayaschaye, chitara ana. Uh, uh, as, lo as long uh, the material life is always going on on the, on the platform on, on the force of uh, passion and ignorance and lust and greed, uh, the byproducts of, of, of this. Uh. So they are not in sattva guna. Uh. And as long one is not in sattva guna, the consciousness is uh, unclear. Uh. Uh. What does this mean? It's defeat, it's parabhava. Parabhava yavat abodhachata yavanya chigyasata atma tatvam. Somebody who is in ignorance. Uh, uh, <coughs> who, who is, not, uh, who is uh, just a servant of his senses. He's in, engaging in all kinds of uh, uh, mischievous, uh, ugly, uh, ugly activities. Not not concerned about the Atma Tattva. Atma Tattva means the knowledge and the reality of the soul. Yeah. So, but that's another symptom Krishna explains yeah, even 5,000 years ago because he's the Lord, he knows the mentality. Yeah. They say that this world is unreal with no foundation, the God, uh, no God in control. They say it is produced by sex desire and there is no cause other than lust. So, karma, 
it's a passion. So there's no God. Uh, there's a, there's no uh, everything appear every, everything appear by chance, and therefore it, uh, it's us, the people, uh, who are now intelligent because due to the evolution of. Uh, uh, according to a materialistic evolution, human beings are very, very intelligent uh, and we should use this intelligence to control the world, to make the world uh, our slave, our supplying us uh, everything for our profit. Uh, and, and that we can see nowadays, people are nowadays only pro profit orient oriented. Uh, doesn't matter if you are a, a, a believer or a non-believer, uh, but uh, one is practically forced to act in such a way to, to, to go in competition. Uh, to go in competition, who can have the best economy? Every country is the, they have the com competition, you know, in economy, uh, and also in producing weapons, producing uh, technology or consuming technology and consuming all kinds of uh, things, you know, what are not needed. Prabhupada said, anartha means that what is not needed. Anartha. Artha means that what is needed. But anartha is that what is not e needed. Huh? And, uh, and nowadays uh, we are all brainwashed through TV and uh, the media telling us what we need. They tell us not the, the teachers anymore. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, anyway, they're also mundane, but not the higher authority, spiritual authority will tell you what you need. What is the highest artha, paramartha. They give us uh, some uh, temporary achievements and uh, results what we should achieve and, and needs what we need, but what, what we actually don't need. Huh? It, because it leads to ugra karma. People have to work hard. hard. Uh, Prabhupada, 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 he mentions previously here in India, 99% of the people were living in village. Uh, but nowadays, you know, so many people become attracted to go to the city, uh, although the village can supply everything. Uh, can, uh, can, you can get some milk there, you can get uh, the water there, you can get uh, grains there, rice, sabjis, vegetables, fruits. Everything is practically growing on the land, not in the city. It's coming from the land, it's uh, transported to the city, and then in the city it will be, it will be uh, sold. Huh? It will be sold uh, for high price. And as Prabhupada one time told, the, the economists, businessmen, they're not interested on in, uh, that we have a lot of supply of things. Uh, they, therefore, they always make a scarcity of things, that they can always raise price. And the scarcity of uh, what they create, artificially create, uh, of everything, uh, uh, they, they can use you know, to make a high price out of it, a good profit out of it. If everything is uh, is sup is uh, how we say available in in a big quantity, then the price will go down, and then the then the then the materialistic uh, businessmen, you know, they will uh, not make so much good profit. They only can sell a lot of quantity, that, but not for a good profit. Uh, so therefore, they always everything is business. Uh, they make business of everything nowadays. The whole world. Is a business place. Uh, is, it's a uh, business place. Huh? That means the world is ruled by business-oriented people, huh? not by kshatriyas, not by brahmanas, but by vaishyas and the shudras. Huh? And as Prabhupada and the Bhagavatam is uh, prophesying, the more the Kali Yuga is progressing, huh? the the people will become uh, more and more uh, fallen more and more degraded and become lower than Shudra, become Lecha. That means the world is led by Mlechas and Yavanas. And if the world is led by Mlechas and Yavanas and not by the Brahmanas and the qualified Kshatriyas and Brahmanas who are followers of Shastra, huh, 
then the whole world will go to whole, whole world will go to hell. Therefore, in the end, only Kalkic avatar can come and uh, purify everything to introduce the Satya Yuga again. Uh, but now we, we still have a good time. It's a Satya Yuga in Kali Yuga. Because the uh, real Kali Yuga, it is said, didn't even start yet. Because uh, we are in the Sandhya, Yuga Sandhya. And the Yuga Sandhya goes for uh, about 10,000 years. Uh, uh, and in this time, it's, uh, the real phase of Kali Yuga is not manifested. Although we can see it's already quite making progress in more and more hellish conditions of life uh, because of the mater materialistic uh, uh, mentality and more and more people uh, becoming uh, servants of this kind of mentality of pro and propaganda to enjoy more and more. Uh, don't understand that uh, um, life is not, not meant for enjoyment. Uh, and, and especially not the enjoyment of uh, Ukra Karma. This is not enjoyment. It, it leads suffering for us self, for our body, for the mind, for the soul ultimately. Because uh, it, it will be forced to take birth again and again. It's encaged in this material world. So it is so, so causing so much suffering to ourselves and it's causing suffering to the whole world. Uh, that is exactly stated here. And all the demons or this demoniac Asuric mentality, they don't care about the benefit of the people. Uh, for them, there's anyway too many. Too many people. They say, you have to reduce, uh, you have to reduce, uh, somehow or other we have to reduce the population, you know, to just a few millions, a few hundred millions, and then we can live very nice. But we, of course, we have to survive. Uh, we, the, the minority elite class, we have to survive. We, we have to take nice care that we have uh, everything, you know, that if, when the worst will come, that uh, we will survive. But the rest of the world can be go, go, become destroyed. This is the dem demoniac propaganda and plan. No? Of course, they, they, they don't th think about uh, high, how, higher consequences and, uh, and the Lord who is, who is still in power. No? Even they don't believe it. They think I'm Ishvara, Hambogi, I'm the controller, I'm the enjoyer. They don't accept Supreme Ishvara, Paramishvara. They don't want to surrender unto him. Only devotees surrender unto him. Mahatma Nastu Mampata, Daivim Prakritim Ashrita. Only a Mahatma, a, a devotee, he surrenders uh, to the internal energy and the desire of the Lord. They take shelter. Asura don't take shelter. They only take more and more shelter in their own mind and in their own uh, whimsical desires and in their own sense gratification. And you know, this will, uh, the re result is leading to hell. So we don't have to speak too much about it. It's already obvious and clear in which direction the world is facing. But we know uh, Sila Prabhupada and Lord Chaitanya came. They, they gave us the process of Sharanagati. Huh? And uh, those devotees who are uh, practicing, who are convinced, uh, they, they have to accept this process now and uh, be become themselves uh, true believers and followers and, be, and lead a pure life and a nice, uh, give a nice example of uh, achara not, and, pr and prachara, uh, pre uh, words and activities. So, so both, uh, th this is uh, only a devotee can do, because a devotee has the Sastri Bhakti Bhagavati Akinshana. A devotee has naturally good qualities of the devas, of the godly persons, and, the, and of, the, of the Lord himself, in minute quantity. An Asura cannot have any good quality, even if he is so-called intelligent and nicely educated in, I don't know in how many grades of of higher education in university and having so, so many doctor 
and professor titles. No? But they're actually the proof of intelligence is you accept the authority of God or, or, you do, or you accept the authority of your mind and your own whimsical desires and ideas and go to hell. So is this intelligent? No, this is foolish. Therefore, uh, the, 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 um, uh, when Krishna says they're uh, alpameda, they're, they're, they're less intelligent, that means that they don't understand the consequences. The 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 urudhamnibada. They not not understand that you're going down that we go down the cliff, huh? because they, they they foolishly think yeah we send everyone down the cliff but we are somehow other we are very smart we will survive but they, who knows huh? maybe they destroy themselves. Huh? And that's actually what Prabhupada uh, prophesied. Ultimately, demons will uh, uh, destroy themselves. We don't have to take any side. Uh, who is better and who is worse uh, in the world? That's politics. Vaishnava is not taking any sides. Because we know this, this side or that side, that president or this president, or this country and that country, they all have the same mentality. That's profit. Uh, and ex exploitation. And as long as this is going on, there cannot be peace in the world. There will be always more and more havoc and, and uh, problems in the world. And therefore the thought is we don't have to take any side or be against somebody. Uh, you have to go the positive way. The positive way of uh, Krishna consciousness uh, uh, and that, uh, the surrender, surrendering to Krishna and to be utsaha, very enthusiastic and positive in our own lifestyle uh, to save ourselves first before we save the world. Uh, many of you want to save the world, although we ourselves are still in trouble and still uh, half victim of this uh, demoniac propaganda, uh, also using it. Uh, it's unavoidable, we have to use it because the whole world is uh, uh, how we say, arranged in such a way. So we have to use cars, we have to use uh, technology, computers, mobile phones, smartphones, uh, all these things, medicines, you know. This is uh, not bad, no. Uh, Prabhupada says, no, that this, uh, all, it depends on the mentality, how we use the things. Uh, like a, like a knife, you know, you can uh, kill yourself and kill others, but with a knife you can uh, cut your daily bread and the sabchis and vegetables for your soup and, and the sabchis to make, prepare. Uh, so it, is, uh, it, is, uh, it has value. And, and in uh, Narada Shiksha, Narada Muni to Vyasadev, his, in the conclusion of his uh, instructions to him, uh, he, uh, he told, that all kind of uh, education or knowledge is it now uh, uh, tapasya in austerities or or in uh, in study of study of scriptures or in uh, culture progress music art like that huh? is uh, should actually is meant and, and should be used to glorify the Lord not not for anything else. Huh? This is a yukta vairagya. This is called yukta vairagya. This is favorable. Huh? If we use it for our own sense gratification, it, for our own destruction, destruction of others, then it's unfavorable. We have to reject it. But certain things we can use in the service of Krishna, but not too much in the name of yukta vairagya, because if we accumulate too many things for ourselves in the name of yukta vairagya and we are not able, we're imitating maybe great acharyas who used uh, yukta varagya because they have the capacity. But if we use it and also accumulate more and more and more and more, then we destroy, destroy our own spiritual life and progress. Therefore, Rupa Goswami he warns: Atyahara sprayasacha prachalpanya magraha. Atyahara. Huh? We should not eat too much. Not. Uh, not. Uh, uh, ex uh, take too much. Atyahara means not only much eating but also much consum 
consummation, a lot of things uh, accumula accumulating many, many things. Uh, so, so atyahara, prayasa, sa, pracha, prayasa. Huh? So, and, uh, oh, endeavoring, endeavoring for material uh, achievements. Huh? No, the devotee should use all things that he, that he can engage in Krishna's service. Then it, this is Yukta Varyagya. Uh, and then it becomes uh, spiritualized. Uh, ever, uh, there's an, uh, one of my favorite pictures. Of, uh, there's a one nice picture of Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur sitting in, a, in an English car. Uh, in the 1930s, you know. There was a uh, uh, I would say uh, limousine, uh, latest model from Eng England, black car, you know, Ar like aristocrats driving in it. But, but Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati, uh, he, he arranged that his uh, disciples became dressed in Western clothes, so tight, head, uh, like English gentlemen. And he was sitting in the back, uh, and there he is driving to Radakund. <laughs> But in Radhakund, you know, we know everyone living there is Vairagya, Tapasvi, Vairag, Vairagi, completely re renounced. But the Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati said, but they, they actually, I came to check everything here in Vrindavan, who is actually real Vairagya. I could not find anyone. They're all, they're all uh, Markata Vairagya. Uh, I would say Mar uh, Monkey Vairagi. Uh, uh, monkey Vairagis. Uh, keeping uh, girlfriends and, and have all kinds of illicit activities in the name of their Vairagya. So, but he came, you know, to show them real Vairagya, uh, having car and the interest uh, like that. And they, 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 of course, they didn't like Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati. Therefore, he had many enemies. Uh, he was uh, considered Singha, Singha Guru, uh, but he was a lion guru. Uh, he uh, did. Uh, he actually declared war against the so-called yukta varagis, not against the materialists, because anyway they destroyed themselves. Mm -hmm. But it, our, 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 the acharya's concern is to save the devotees, that they will not become victim of the demoniac propaganda mm -hmm. and of the kali yuga lifestyle, illicit sex life, intoxication, gambling, mm -hmm. uh, like that. Uh, eat. Uh, uh, meat eating, uh, killing animals, slaughterhouses, uh, uh, that we are not supporting that. Alcohol, uh, prostitution, this is, this is a hell, this is hellish uh, civilization, this is demoniac. And you can see this is everywhere in the world, this is propagated, this lifestyle, uh, killing animals, uh, prostitution, alcohol, uh, it's big profit, but the devotees, they should not uh, engage in, in this kind of, in, in any kind of uh, these uh, sinful activities uh, and uh, take shelter in the pure lifestyle of the rules and the regulations of sadhana, bhakti, given by vidhi, scripture, revealed scriptures that give us a vidhi, uh, guidelines, what we should accept, what we should reject, and they accept that what is favorable and reject that what is unfavorable. Yeah. So that, and, and this we can only learn through Vidhi, that means through scriptures and through Guru and Vaishnava teachings. They can give us Vidhi, rules and regulations to follow. And the devotees who are actually fo follow, following this, you know, then even if they have some uh, material things that they can use in mission or devotional service, that is not an, an obstacle for them. Uh, it's not an obstacle for them. They, accept, they may accept it if they can use it in the service or in the mission of the Lord. If, the, if, the, if, uh, if, it, if, if it is not usable, then, then they can also live it out. Uh, because they always have Hare Krishna mantra, they have uh, transcendent knowledge, Krishna Kata, and therefore they always can be happy. To Shanticha, Ramanticha, therefore the devotee is always happy and satisfied in the association of devotees, in serving the mission of the spiritual master. And as long as, as long the, the mission of the spiritual master is possible to execute, we should do it. Huh? 
Lord Chaitanya says with the uh, body, mind and words. Uh, what is the verse? Etava chanma sapalyam dehinam iha dehishu pranar arta diya vacha chraya acharanam sada. So these uh, four things uh, Lord Chaitanya recommends uh, and instructed his followers we should accept to do welfare activities for the benefit of the embodied uh, souls who are in ignorance to, to teach them the Shreya Achara that means the proper conduct to, to progress in spiritual life not progressing materially and spiritually we are retarding uh, we stay more and more in ignorance we still think I'm the body and I can do anything there is no consequences there is no karma this is complete ignorance this is avidya uh, so, the, so, the, so the devotees have to be fixed themselves in this knowledge of vidi and the realization of of uh, spiritual existence of the soul and the super soul and our relationship with the, with the Lord and uh, also teach it uh, to others for others benefit uh, with the body with the prana uh, prana with our life force prana means also senses uh, uh, everyone has senses because pr uh, the senses are working on the prana if prana is weak senses also become weak if prana becomes strong, sense becomes strong. Uh, therefore, prana means uh, senses. Uh, it's not only the breathing. Uh, not the bre breathing is a, it's an uh, external sign of a life, you know. But uh, the blacksmith belly is also breathing. Uh, but human beings, you know, we have uh, senses. Uh, we have uh, eyes, we have nose, we have mouth, we have ears, we have feeling, uh, we have legs, we have, we have uh, hands, uh, we have intelligence, we have mind, we have uh, ego, <laughs> we have all these things, you know. Uh, so material nature gave us a very nice uh, machine, instrument, we should not, but not make to, to destroy it. Uh, it's ig destroying means ig ignorance. Like Sanatana Goswami, he one time he wanted to give up his body because he considered I, I'm uh, co committing so many offenses to other Vaishnavas and priests of the Jagannath temple because uh, my body is very diseased, became infected from some uh, infection of the in from the jungle when I came to Puri. Uh, so uh, he, he had in, in mind only the idea, he didn't spoke with anyone. He had the idea, I will, I will next Rati Yatra coming in July, I will, uh, I said, uh, t uh, make Dandavat before the Rat card of, uh, of Lord Jagannath and I will give up my body there, committing suicide. But Lord Chaitanya here, his super soul, he understood that. So one time when he, he visited Sanatana Goswami in, in uh, Haridas Thakur's Pachan uh, Kutir, Sita Bakul, Puri, Lord Chaitanya every day came visiting these two personalities. So he, uh, he uh, chastised uh, Sanatana Goswami. Now this body, what you, uh, what you have, it doesn't belong to you. Huh? You, you, sur you are surrendered, you gifted that body to me. So it's not your body anymore. This body belongs to me. What do you think? You know, if uh, uh, if 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 something is not belonging to you, and uh, you you claim, okay, I can do with that, with this uh, whatever I like. I can destroy it. Huh? Will the owner or the real possessor of, of that uh, be will happy? Be, will, will he be happy with you? No, of course not. Huh? And because I still have a plan with this body of yours, you know, we should not destroy it. Huh? To destroy, to, and we cannot attain Krishna by destroying the body. Huh? Ne never attained. Because if one can attain Krishna by suicide, you know, everyone can immediately give up body and go to Krishna. Very nice. You know? But uh, Krishna is not attained in this way. Huh? So we have, we ha we have to uh, engage the body 
in the service of the uh, owner, the real owner of the body, and the real owner of the body is the super soul, is the supreme personality of Godhead, and he has a plan, especially if you're a devotee. You cannot uh, be lazy and uh, give up the body, or neglecting the body, uh, or become lethargic and uh, say, hopeless, no, it's okay, useless. Uh, it's awful, it's uh, dirty, and uh, I'm ups so much upset of this body. Yeah, it's okay, but uh, if you're too much upset, it's also bad. No. And why we should be up upset if the body can be used in the service of Krishna? The body is a temple, we hear so many times. Therefore, we put tilak mark on the body all over 12, 12 places. You're marking the body with the tilak. Huh? Here and here and here and here and here on the side and here in the arms and, and here and here every and in the back everywhere we have the tilak marks. Huh? That means we are the servants of Vishnu. Om Narayana Namaha Om Madhavayana and so on. Huh? So we are we are serv servants. That that the the. The tilak mark uh, gave, uh, gave us an identification. Yes, this, is, this body is a temple. And I'm just a tenant of this temple, te temporary. Huh? And I have the privilege now to have a human form, animal form, they cannot do it. No? But human form, it's rarely achieved. Etavat shamma sapalyam dehinam iha deshu. Therefore, we should use it in the service of Krishna and in the service of others to help others that they can find a way to Krishna to come, come to the self and to the super self Krishna and become his servant this is, uh, this is the duty uh, this is the duty of every everyone born in Bharata Varsha we heard uh, in the last Bhagavatam class I gave the Master Sloka Prabhupada quoted uh, Parata bumite hoyle munusya chanmachara chanmasata da karikara para upakara. Uh, so the human form of life is to meant to do welfare. Uh, and the greatest welfare uh, is the, the welfare to giving Krishna to others. And giving information about the self and the super self and that we are servants of Krishna. And that we are not this body, but this body is also not useless, it's not false, this universe is also not false. Like Prabhupada says, the cotton on the cotton thread is not false, it's a reality. Cotton is a reality, huh? not? And the, tr and the thread is also a reality, and the cloth of cotton is also a reality. You cannot say it's Maya, it's illusion, it's not. It's here. No? But it's temporary. After some at some time, Kurta and Toti, it's uh, getting whole and uh, and uh, you become useless. We have to throw it away after five years or so. Uh, and buy another one. Uh, but it's still a reality. So the universe is not false. This body is not false. Uh, but to accept this universe as the all in all, or to accept this body as the all in all, this is false. This is illusion, this is Maya, and this Maya we have to give up. But we cannot give it up just by giving a kick. Oh Maya, I served you for so many lifetimes and now I give you a kick. Sorry. Boom. No, it's not so easy. Maya will laugh. Huh? She will be like a boomerang shooting back to you. Huh? Huh? Boom, boom, you know, coming back. We cannot uh, get rid of Maya. So easy. Huh? So wh uh, what is the recommendation? Krishna says uh, I, uh, th that we have to engage Maya in Krishna's service because it's Mama Maya, it's ma Maya energy, Mama Maya Duratiya, Mameva Ye Prabhatiyante, Mayamitam Tarantite. And then easily you can overcome Maya because Krishna is Mayesha, uh, he's Maya Ishvara, he's the boss of Maya, he's the boss of everything. So if we are surrendering to Krishna, then uh, Maya, who is just a small maid servant of all of Krishna's energy, uh, she has a thankless job, you know, to keep us in conditioned souls, to achieve us in illusion. Then uh, Maya re will relieve you, will release you from the prison. 
As long as Maya is not merciful and release you, you cannot come out. But Maya, because Maya is also a person, she is Durga. Now is Navaratri time. Huh? So everyone is practically worshipping Durga Devi for nine days, but mostly for material profit, for material benediction. But they can also pray to, uh, to, to Maya, to Durga, to release, to be, to re release the devotee and to become, uh, that to become a devotee of the Lord. Uh, so the Maya will be kindly get, get you, go, let you go from the prison. Uh, and uh, that you can go to Krishna to, and to serve him. To be, be. Now we are serving Maya. Uh, in so many ways. Therefore, everyone likes to worship Durga. Huh? There's so much uh, happenings going on in Vrindavan, even in Vrindavan. More, Dur more puja than in Radharani's day or in Krishna's day. So much puja everywhere. So much noise everywhere also. Huh? So much uh, so-called worship. Huh? Huh? For material pro pro benefits, huh? not for devotion. Huh? The devotees uh, respecting Durga. We are not against Durga, we are not against the Shiva, we are not against any demigods, but we also don't worship them, but we are respecting them. Uh, Vaishnava respected them as the, uh, because they themselves are great devotees. Durga is Vaishnavi. Uh, Vaishnavi, she is a very great devotee of the Lord. Uh, she is always eager to serve the Lord. One time uh, uh, her husband, Shiva Mahadev, he was uh, chanting a new mantra. Uh, she never heard. Parvati never heard. Uh, what was um, Gora, 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 Gora. Uh, Gora mantra. So she asked, uh, what kind of man mantra? Normally you always chant uh, Rama mantra. Ram Nam. Now you're chanting Gora Nam. But it's, who is Gora? Uh, and then uh, Shiva told, oh my dear Devi, I will I, this is actually a great secret because uh, Gora is in Mayapur. Uh, he's in um, Navadvip, Na Mayapur. He's residing eternally there. He's uh, Krishna and Radharani. Uh, Radharani in, 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 in Radha and Krishna in one form. Uh, and uh, he's actually more in Radharani mood. Uh, and Radharani, uh, you're an expansion of Radharani. Uh, you're an expansion of Radharani. And uh, uh, if you want, uh, so I'm chanting this Goranam, you know, because he is so very merciful. Uh, I want to be his servant always. So Durga, she became also very fired up. Please, my dear Lord, give me also this mantra. She was say, I cannot give you a mantra myself. You have to go to, to Mayapur and worship Gora. Uh, but uh, perform tapasya uh, and uh, and. Uh, and meditate uh, about uh, Goranga. He's eternally there in uh, Navadip in Mayapur. So she went there. And the island she actually went, you know, it's a Simanta Dvip. Uh, Simanta. Uh. It's uh, nine islands, and as we know. Uh, Antar Dvip, Simanta Dvip, Kodruma uh, Dvip, Madhyama Dvip, and so on. Nine, nine islands up to Rudra Dvip. Antatvi means the heart. Uh, and the next one is Simantatvi. It's uh, where Jagannath Mandir is. That's Simantatvi. Uh, and, uh, and there, uh, behind the Jagannath Mandir, uh, there is now uh, Iskon, they made this beautiful uh, te temple of uh, si si Shimantini Shiman Shiman uh, Devi. Uh, she, she is the goddess in charge for Srimantadvip. And who put her in charge? It was Lord Goranga. Because Lord Goranga, he became very pleased with uh, Parvati, that means with the Durga's um, tapasya and meditation. And, but not only tapasya and meditation for nothing, uh, for bodybuilding and for uh, how say, or losing weight or become beautiful. Uh, or uh, for uh, some material achievement. No, not, not this kind of uh, tapasya. Not of this kind of meditation in mind. Because her m mind was uh, pure. Because she was wife of uh, Shiva. Shiva's mind is always in Shuddha Sattva. 
never in Tamaku, sometimes because he is in charge. But that's only an aspect of him, that's Rudra. But Shiva himself is always absorbed in uh, Sattva Guna. Sattva Vishudam Vasudeva Shaptitam. He's not, ne not, ne not in, in the mode of uh, passion and ignorance. Uh, and the Devi always uh, chase to, to uh, Shiva, uh, always, uh, always meditates. Same. Uh, same. Wife should ha take the same vow like husband. Otherwise, she's not wife. Uh, same, uh, same vow, same vrata, same meditation. So when the husband is great devotee, that's a good fortune for wife. She be also should become a devotee, not go in opposition. Uh, and drag the husband down to do that what I like. Don't be a uh, fanatic. Uh, don't be so extreme. Uh, be also make a little compromise with me. Uh, no. She, she has to surrender. Uh, so, uh, surrender to husband. But if husband is not Vaishnava, then uh, then not good. Uh, the only will drag you to hell. So uh, husband and wife should be Vaishnava. Uh, like the ideal husband and wife is Shiva Parvati. Uh, and uh, Parvati, she went to Mayapur, uh, to Navadvip, and she went to this part of, of the isle, of nine islands, what is now, nowadays known as Simantadvip. Uh, and she got the darshan of Lord Goranga. Uncle Goranga was very mercifully putting his uh, lotus food, uh, who is always smeared with uh, kumkum, uh, or some reddish powder and put it on the head of uh, or part of uh, Parvati. Uh. Ladies have part in the middle uh, and there they have the red line when they're married. If the lady have, a, have the part on the side, the simanta uh, on the side, that means they're unchaste. But if it is in the middle with a red line, then everyone knows, oh, the girl, is, the lady is married, she has husband, so I don't have to try to go near to her. Uh, keep distance. <laughs> married, occupied already. She gave her heart to one person. Finish. Uh, so ultimately she gave it to Lord Goranga, Mahaprabhu. This is not an offense to her husband, because her husband was meditating about Goranga. Uh, He's, he's Radha Krishna, he's the he's origin of all avatars, also of Ram, of Ram, huh? Ram Nam. So he chant the Goranam. So it's not a deviation from, from his uh, vow of mantra, because he chanted the mantras of all mantras, Gora Mantra. Huh? So, because of mercy of Go Lord Goranga, huh? we can have uh, the access to Bhakti. Uh, we cannot have access to bhakti on our own. Uh, we, are, we, are, have not, we have not the key for it. Lord Goranga Mahaprabhu, he has, the, he has this uh, key, he has this mercy, he has this, he has this audarya. And without this audarya uh, of uh, Lord Goranga, uh, our heart will not melt. Uh, we, ca we cannot cry for Krishna, we cannot chant Kr Krishna without offenses. Therefore, we have to first chant Goranam. Goranga Bolite. Huh? It, uh, it is the song, you know. Goranga Bolite. Pulaka Sharira. Hari Hari Bolite. Nayana Abhinira. So, this uh, Narutam Das Thakur singing. When will the time come uh, when, uh, when, I, when I will chant Goranga name? And the body will start to shiver, and the hairs uh, will become er will stand erect, you know, and the tears will flow from my eyes. Uh, but not for the show. Uh, not in the in the prakrita sahaja way, because if the heart is still still framed hard, even if you have shivering of your body, still your aparadi, your heart is still framed. Heart is not melting. Therefore, only by Lord Goranga's mercy we can become uh, bona fide, uh, authentic Vaishnavas, no? not, not imitating Vaishnavas. Uh, uh, with, with a pure, soft heart. With, uh, and then these uh, symptoms may appear or not appear. 
they anyway will appear in time. But the devotee is not asking for it. Uh, because sometimes the devotee thinks it's, a, it's an obstacle for my service. So I, I, I want to serve. Uh, so Parvati, she got the mercy, she got the fo footprint of, of, uh, of Lord Chaitanya, the red powder from his lotus feet on her, on her part, Shimanta. Uh, and uh, she became glorified. She, ca she became glorious. Uh, uh, and uh, Lord Goranga told her, I'm very happy with you, I'm very pleased with you, because you're, you're an expansion of Radharani. Uh, you're the expansion of Radharani, of her energy, Shakti, here in the material world. Uh, but you have a thankless job. Uh, you have to keep uh, the materialist, uh, the mat materialistic condition, Jivas, in Maya. Uh, that's your job. You know and fulfill their material desires. Uh, and many... Parvati is Durga, yeah. Parvati and Durga, Kali is the same, you know. Shiva's wife. Uh, it's uh, sh Shiva's uh, Shakti. So this uh, uh, Parvati, uh, she, she uh, as uh, Durga, uh, she has to keep the conditioned souls in illusion and fulfill their material desires. And the demons also like to worship her. They worship Devi, the goddess, uh, mother, the universe, Jagat Mata. Uh, they like to worship her because uh, she is the mother and she can uh, fulfill all desires. But sometimes she becomes very angry. Sometimes Durga becomes very angry. She wants to uh, manifest in Kali with eight, eight or twelve arms, you know, with all kinds of weapons and uh, chop the heads of all the demons because she become angry. But her husband Shiva has to pacify her uh, and uh, make dandavats to her, you know, to grasp her feet, you know, please uh, don't destroy uh, all these uh, creatures now, you know, because they also have an existence. They also have a purpose, you know. Demons are there. You can never destroy them completely. Uh, but it's important that, 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 the, that the people or the devotees uh, that they keep the demoniac principles that they are aware about what is demoniac principles that you keep it out of your consciousness and mind uh, don't become servants of the, this mentality uh, in the name of devotee uh, so the <laughs> So P Parvati, uh, she, she has a thankless uh, t t task, you know, to give fulfilling desires, benedi giving benedictions. Uh, but now she got the greatest service. Uh, she got the mission of, of Lord Goranga to stay here in, uh, in Navadvip and keep the materialistic persons out of the dam. Uh, so she became Prauda Maya. Uh, Prauda Maya, she means she is the prote protectress of the dam with, uh, with Vrita Shiva. Vrita Shiva and Prauda Maya, uh, they are the two protectors of the dam in, in Navadip by Vayapur. And, uh, and uh, they got the job of, of Lord Chaitanya, of Goranga Mahaprabhu. He engaged them they, because they are both his eternal servants. So he, Lord Chaitanya engaged uh, Prauda Maya, he engaged Parvati, Shimantini Devi uh, to become the protector, protectress of the Dham and to keep the evil elements out of it. Uh, that's her job. Uh, uh, so that means that she has her function. Uh, you see, in Lord Chaitanya, he, he knows exactly how to use everyone's uh, cap capacity and qualities in his service, in his mission. So, therefore, either prana, our senses, our, our uh, artha, our profession, our qualities, our, our money, artha, dia, the intelligence, uh, our uh, education, our, our ideas we have, uh, uh, dia, vacha, and our words uh, in the service of the Lord, Shreya Achara. And what is the best service for the Lord? If we are showing 
the last living entities in this material world, uh, the direction it, where to go. Uh, and the gopis also say, Bhuvi Grenanti Buridachana, those who are uh, engaging in Krishna Katha, in the loud chanting of Krishna's pastimes and of the, uh, and of the holy name, uh, then they're the greatest welfare, well, well, uh, well wishes and welfare workers. Bhuvi Grenanti Buridachana, there's no greater welfare than the welfare of uh, spreading Krishna consciousness knowledge from the Bhagavad Gita, from Srimad Bhagata, this Krishna Katha, the holy name to others. Uh, this is therefore missionary work what Guru is giving. Prabhupada told, I learned many things from my parents, father and mother when I was a child boy, but uh, one thing that my father and my parents could not give me, that was the mission. Uh, mission is given coming from Acharya, coming from Guru, from Parampara. Uh, this is not a, a material mission. It's no, no, nobody in the family can give us this mission. Uh, they, they can teach you to cook, to worship deities, uh, even to play medanga and all these things, you know, and to uh, t uh, serve the sadhus and taking care of sadhus like that, or be respectful, following dharma, Vedic culture. This the family give. Uh, but to save the humanity, to give them transcendental knowledge, give them the holy name, to uplift them, to spirit the life, only Guru can give, that's Arya. Uh, and if one has the good fortune to come in contact with such an Acharya and receive this uh, mission from him, then this is greatest gift. This is the greatest gift. We should embrace that and uh, cultivate it and never let it go. Always keep this mission in our heart and consider it it's more, more important for us than eating, sleeping and breathing. Uh, it's uh, so essential, this mission. And this mission is not only spreading for, for others, it's also spreading it to ourselves. Uh, this sometimes we neglect. We say, want to save everyone else, but for ourselves we don't care so much. A anyway, we think, let's care for others, then myself is automatically care. Yeah, can be, can be also not. Because we have seen many had this mentality, we are there today. They're not around anymore. There so many who, who had big projects, I, I know personally, so many big book distributors, where are they are today? They gave the whole life book, book distribution, uh, saving the whole world, you know, distributing millions of books, collecting millions of dollars. Uh, and then one point, you know, then gone, not, not, not visible anymore. Or they go their own way of life, also spiritual. Also convinced as they were before, but in another way, not in Prabhupada way, only, not only Prabhupada, okay, but not only, uh, not, uh, there's also other things, we also have to use our own way and find out what is good, what is nice for me and what is not so much, what can I accept and what not, uh, like that. So, so I have seen many welfare workers, you know, but then uh, they're not vi visible after some time. Uh, and this is, this is a pity. Uh, this is actually lam lamentable because Sila Prabhupada, whenever uh, he, he cried, you know, he cried and when he heard that uh, Prabhupada left, who was a dear servant of him, or uh, who was engaged in his mission. We should not be proud. Oh, Prabhupada is very nice. Prabhupada is the best. No, and uh, and everyone is uh, practically nothing. No, after Prabhupada, but uh, Prabhupada was very uh, hap happy, very very much uh, concerned. You know about all his disciples uh, that they make advancement and that they become guru themselves by teaching others how to serve Krishna. This is ultimately the universal mission, Lord, Lord Chaitanya. Guru Hana Tara Eidesh, uh, become spiritual master and deliver your countrymen, deliver the world. Uh, and everyone, Prabhupada says, everyone who follows the four regulative principles, chanting minimum 16 rounds a day, 
Uh -huh. And reading and absorbing in Prabhupada's books and, and preaching what is Prabhupada's books, he's quite able to become a guru for the whole world. That means to teach this process of, of uh, Krishna consciousness to the whole world. Uh, with, without restriction, without uh, envy. Uh, envy is what, what destroys everything. Uh, so we should never, never mean uh, what I appreciate uh, from from uh, my uh, uh, god brothers in the on the Vyasa Puja da day, some of them they say it's not only that we should glorify Sila Prabhupada in this day, but we should also glorify Prabhupada's devotees in this day, huh? because Prabhupada said, "I'm a single person. What can I do my, my on my own? I'm an old man." Huh? And what can I do my own? Therefore, Krishna, my Guru Maharaj, sent me all you young boys and girls to me, to assist me in my mission to my Guru Maharaj. So I'm very, I'm very uh, thankful and I'm very hopeful that the devotees taking this mission very seriously uh, and uh, spreading this Krishna consciousness uh, even after L Prabhupada's disappearance, even after he's going, uh, uh, teaching this Krishna consciousness others, to others, uh, without diminishing. Uh, at least we should try to maintain. Uh, at least we should try to maintain. And that's actually the heritage. Uh, that's the heritage that we got from Srila Prabhupada, that we can uh, try be always his followers and representing him and becoming empowered by him and by Lord Chaitanya uh, to somehow or other, in a small way or in a big way or a med medium way, to become instrumental in, in the Lord's service. Ultimately for the Lord doesn't matter, for Prabhupada doesn't matter, big, small or medium. Huh. Huh. Like the uh, example Prabhupada gives in the Gita is the uh, Lord Ramachandra, Hanuman, he can uh, make very big result, very big achievements. But there was one spider who wanted to help uh, Lord Ramachandra build a bridge to, to Lanka by uh, throwing small pebbles uh, in the water. But Hanuman said, oh spider, spider line, why you, don't, why you stay in the way here? Go away, otherwise maybe I step over you. You see, don't see that I have a big mission here? <laughs> but Lord, Lord Abhachandra, he, he understood the mentality of uh, Hanuman and he chastised him. This spider is giving 100%, you giving 100% according to his capacity and according to your capacity. So everyone should try to give 100%. Although it's difficult, 100, but Prabhupada and Goranga mercy, very great mercy, Audarya. Even if you don't make a bit, even 90, 80, or whatever, uh, the mercy is still here. Uh. Of course, we should not make compromise. We should go 100. Uh. But even if you fail to achieve 100% uh, success of devotion and result to Krishna, what we could do, uh, Krishna will still take care. That's Bhagavatam. Bhagavatam also says in the third canto, uh, Maitreya, Maitreya Muni, uh, to Vidura, he tells everyone who is engaging in uh, Krishna Katha, hearing stories about the Lord like Varaha, Varaha Dev, like that, as he is uh, lifting the world from the from from the ocean, from the sea, from the devastating ocean, and 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 the, how how the rishis from the higher planets and Brahma. Glori glorify, glorify the Lord with uh, auspicious Vedic mantras uh, because lo Lord is uh, personified uh, Yagya, Yagya Rupa uh, is uh, Yagya Murti uh, is the per 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 personified form of Yagya so they glorified Lord, Lord Varahadev you know, with their uh, Vedic hymns uh, very Uttama Shloka verses from Bhagavatam. And uh, Mark, uh, Maitreya Rishi, Maitreya Muni, he says, everyone uh, who, who hears and accepts 
and uh, uh, draws his mind, uh, I would say, uh, absorbs his mind in this uh, Harikata and hearing about uh, the Lord's various incarnations and pastimes no? with love and devotion. No? The Lord who is situ situated in, uh, in, uh, in the devote, in the, devote is in, the, in, the, in the heart will make all arrangements uh, to purify you and bring you to his own spiritual world. Uh, he will bring you to the world. He will reveal the world. They cannot attain it like that. We cannot make steps in this direction. We can only surrender to it and surrender to the process. Krishna Katha. Srinvatam Svakatha Krishna Punya Shravana Kirtana. Riti Antak Subhadrani Vidhunoti Suritsatam. Then the Lord from the, in the heart will become satisfied with our Katha endeavor. And He will make your life perfect. He will take you to His abode. That's bhakti. Yogi is to have to make so much uh, endeavors uh, to, to attain uh, maybe liberation. Jnanis, yogis, uh, the, what to speak of the karmis, they cannot a even attain liberation. They only can a a a attain maybe a position of heavenly planets uh, or maybe uh, other planets of the long, long hundreds of lifetimes. You know? And what to speak of the demons, they work so hard, they perform so much tapasya, so, mu so much uh, uh, education, so much work, hard work. Uh, but ultimately they lose everything. It's parabhava yavada bodha chata yavanya jigasata atma tatvam. Uh, therefore, Rishabhadev said, na sadhu manye yata atmano yam asanya piklesha ashadeya. Therefore, devotee, who know, who know this uh, truth and about the uh, hellish of, of materialistic lifestyle that it leads to hellish life should not imitate this uh, materialistic demoniac mentality and they should f follow the path of uh, bhakti nasatu manye yata atmanayam asan apiklesha dasha daya because he knows very well these kind of activities uh, only create more, increase more and more suffering. So materialists, materialists, you know, they make promise it will not give suffering. They say, no, this our, if you consume our, our medicine, if you are eating this uh, food what we produce in our factory, it will increase your life. So they are giving you uh, the idea, the feeling, uh, and propaganda is made, yes, suffering will diminish, but they cannot diminish because the material world is uh, already condemned as to Kalaya Mashashvatam, temporary and full of misery. So they cannot make a, out of a miserable place a pleasurable place. But the demons want to do, do that. They want to make out of a, a miserable place a pleasurable place. But the devotees, they know this is not a pleasurable place. We should use it, therefore, uh, like a toilet. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur told. Like a toilet. You go do your business and then go out and, uh, and uh, go on with your normal activities. Don't hang on. Don't entangle yourself uh, in uh, useless activities uh, who are not actually meant for our benefit. So I stop here. Hare Krishna, Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Ki Jai. Hare Krishna.